I got some interesting, interesting uh, information sent to me the other day. A gentleman from Australia sent me a uh, copy of the front page of the of the uh, Australian Golf Magazine just prior to going into the Masters for 2013. And uh, I won't go into the who the golfer was or anything. You can look it up and find it. But here's one of the great tour players like Adam Scott, who's on the cover and they're showing the golf club from me hitting to you. And you can see the club face as big as all get out. The club face is in the PowerPoint at 45 degrees to the PowerPoint, just like I always talk. Now, <laughs> it's interesting. I, I, I don't know why. I wish the teachers would just say, hey, this is really good position. Now, they talk about being a great player, great swing, good, everything is great. But why don't the teachers go ahead and say, look at his club head. His club head's about, f his club face is square to the arc of the swing rather than square to the target as it comes around. Because square to the target as it moves through the arc is going to cause a slice. But he's got it about 45 degrees to his 45 degree spot in the swing. Wow, what a great thing. And... Uh, if I were the one writing the magazine and doing the article and what have you, I'd be wanting to make sure that that were all covered really nicely instead of talking about his hands and his lower body and his legs and his head back of the ball. I just want to be talking about that club face getting into the PowerPoint in, in a great position. Uh, so the, the really the dual point here, just to let you know something, is take a chance to look that up. Uh, go online or what do you have to do and get the, I think it's probably the May issue of, uh, because they come out so far ahead, but uh, of Golf Magazine in Australia. And it's amazing what you'll see. It's right there for you, plainer than day. A tour player at the PowerPoint with his driver at 45 degrees to the PowerPoint, just like we talk about all the time. I want you to just take this stuff and pay attention and go, whoa, he's been saying that forever. wonder what else he'd say about something else or somebody else. Uh, because I don't want to put anyone down anywhere. What I want to tell you is there's a good way to teach this thing and a really great way to learn the golf swing. And the industry just, for some reason, isn't pushing the envelope to get out there and tell you how simple this is. I just want you to know how simple it is. So uh, keep sending me stuff like that, and I'll critique it for you because I just, I'll give a shot at looking at it and tell you what I think and give you my opinion on it, okay? All right. But take a look at that rascal. Very interesting. So when you're out there swinging your club, get yourself into the PowerPoint with your golf club, I don't care if it's a pitching wedge or a driver, get in there with your club face about 45 degrees close to the target when you're about 45 degrees between the ball and 90 degrees later, which would be facing the target. All right, great. Hey, thanks for taking the time to just listen for a moment or two. I uh, hope that helps you out. Thanks, I'm Daryl Classen.